Well, hey everybody, good Monday morning. Hey, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, sunshine outside. I went fishing with Jerry yesterday. Jerry went fishing Saturday, and then we went fishing yesterday because I was able to get a babysitter for my mom yesterday afternoon. And um, we were out for about four hours. Well, he wants to go again today, and I'm like, I have major important stuff I have to get done. So the first thing I have to get done today, do you remember my bumblebee blouse with the bumblebee buttons? Well, evidently, I forgot to make earrings to match. So I thought I'd show you guys. I have a lot of new readers, uh, readers, listeners. <laughs> I have a blog and a blog, you guys. Um, I thought I'd show you how I make a really quick pair of earrings. So the first, ouch, oh, I have this sore elbow. I need to have a sore elbow and know what causes it. Um, the first thing you have to do is figure out silver or gold. And so since my blouse is gray, we're going to go silver. And oh my gosh, I found the cutest pattern this morning I'm going to make for my friend Philly today. Oh, I'm so excited about it, but I can't tell you what it is because it's a secret, sort of. But anyway, so you start out deciding what color that they're going to be. Are they going to be silver or gold? See? And so you start out with what's called a head pin, which is like, it's like a nail. It's got a head on it and then this long part, but it's made out of wire, of course. You couldn't make it out of the nail. So then what you do is you have to find some beads. And so I have my beads all divided by what color they are. So I'm gonna get a box of black and gray out and I might sneeze, you guys. Turn your head. You? Excuse me. It's morning. And I'm sneezy wheezy in the morning. Mm. Put the coffee far away so you don't sneeze it off the table. So you have to find some silver beads. Okay, that's the deal. So there's some silver beads and they look really good. And I've got little tiny ones and medium ones and big ones. So we're going to start out with silver beads. Then I need a black bead. This says black and silver, but it's really mostly silver. So I'm going to leave this out because I will never in a million years find what box I just got these beads out of. So I'm leaving this out. I'll put it over here by my owls. Now I need to find another box of black. And I need to find some yellow. Now, yellow is as rare as hen's teeth. It's really hard to find yellow beads. Here's some right here. Some yellow beads. And I need another black. Here's another box of black. Ah, what luck. Okay, so let me get some black beads. Here's black, and they're kind of kind of cut. Have these cuts all over them, so those are kind of cute. But I don't look good in big. Big swallows my little head, so I'm going to get small. I'm going to get small, and I'm going to put this somewhere. I might want another feet out of it, so I'll put that there. Now, the only remaining color is yellow, because see, I have yellow, gray, black. So I'm going to get some yellow, and here's some fun little fuzzy yellow beads. Oh, aren't those cute? Okay. So... You guys won't believe how easy this is. I think everybody ought to make jewelry. It is the funnest hobby. It absolutely is. And my mother's probably going to be hollering for me in about two seconds. She's having her shake downstairs right now and her coffee. And she's waiting for Doreen to come. Doreen's going to be here all day. And I think Terry might be needing a play date buddy today. I don't know. I'm going to find out. Okay, so there's yellow and black. Let me see, should we put the silver on the bottom? Silver, yellow. Let's make it silver, black, yellow. Ta-da! What do you think? Simple, fast, cute, how cute. I don't know, I think maybe that bead's a little large, so I'm gonna put the small bead on and go with silver, and my nose is starting to run. I gotta get a tissue. Hold on one minute, you guys. I'm back! <laughs> hey, 
had to take a Kleenex break. You know I have to have one. Okay, so I added a few more little beads. They have little tiny beads that are called spacer beads. So I decided I'd make the silver the littlest part. So I'm going to put the yellow first. Then I'm going to put black. Then I'm going to put another little silver piece, a silver spacer bead. See how that looks. I think I'll put a spacer bead between the yellow and the black. You guys, you could play with this for the rest of your life, okay? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Uh, there, now that's kind of cute, huh? Let me see, should I put another black? That many? What do you think? Too many, too much? Too many, too much? Too many, too much? I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Let's do two and see. All right, we'll put the yellow. Let's start with a silver one under the yellow. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And a silver one on top of the yellow. <gasps> that's kind of cute. And then a black. And a black. Now, how about that? See the two different ones? Can you tell, you guys? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I like this one the best. Yellow and silver and black. No, I'm going to try one other thing. I'm going to put a black, a silver, a yellow, a silver, and another black. Let's see. Oh, I think that's my favorite, huh? Ah, let's do that twice. Let me see. Let me see. Which one do I like the best? Oh my gosh, I like both of those the best. Can you like two the best? Oh my. I don't know what one I like the best. Maybe I could put them in different ears. What one shows up the best? Oh, they're so cute. I just don't know. I think I like this one the best, actually. So we're going to change this one and make it match that one. So we have two earrings the same. Oh, gosh. How did I learn to make jewelry? I know somebody out there saying, how'd she learn to make that jewelry? Why didn't she tell us how she learned to make that jewelry? <laughs> I found out about Craftsy, Craftsy.com. And I went to Craftsy.com because I wanted to make... I wanted to watch all the sewing videos, of course. All the classes about sewing and fitting, especially fitting. I was into that when I first started. And as I was looking through all of the sewing classes, I saw this jewelry making class. And I thought, you know, I have always wanted colored earrings that have the colors of what I'm wearing. I had, you know, all kinds of gold and silver. Um, earrings and um, I never did have any colored ones and so I thought you know what I could just like go buy some beads Ta -da! <laughs> and learn to make jewelry and so I took her name is Aga Aga Crook A-G-A-K-R-U-K if y'all are interested she's absolutely adorable she's from Poland or Russia or someplace and she says turd instead of third <laughs> I just think she's adorable <laughs> But I learned how to make jewelry by watching that one class. Okay, so you have to have a bunch of tools. <coughs> Excuse me. So now you take that wire and you bend it. Bend it like that. Then you bend it back and make a loop. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. If I stop... And cut out every time I cough, there would be no videos. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come show you this up close. Let's see if you can see. Can you tell what I did there? Yeah. See, I made a little ring. Now that excess wire, I'm going to wrap it around and cut it off. See? There's the earring. Cute. Okay. So the next thing you have to have is something to make it go in your ear, right? Well, those are called, go say here, ear wires. So you can get ear wires, which are the little hooky things, and you can get ear balls, you know, the little balls that you stick in your ear. And so since this already has balls on it, I am going to use silver ear wires. 
And so what you have to check is, ouch, what you have to make sure of is that the little loops on the bottom of these hooks open and close because before I close this off and make it impossible to open, I need to make sure that this will open. And boy, these are really tiny. And the thing about it is I really need some glasses, but we'll settle for this magnifying mirror and we'll get some other pliers out another tool because we have a bunch of them and we'll see if this opens and yes it does okay so now that I know that opens I can finish this ear wire so I'm going to take that wire that I showed you and I'm going to wrap it around a couple times pull it tight and come over here and get some cutters and let's move my light over here so I don't cut the earring apart that I just made. <laughs> cut. Try not to mess it up, girl. Ah! You have to close your eyes when you do that because you're supposed to wear safety glasses. But I don't like to wear safety glasses because I have contacts in. Okay, so I've got one done. Let me show you up close. See, there's one. It's just got the little loop on top now. And we're going to take this little hook that I opened that has disappeared. Where is it? There it is. And hook it in there. And then you take your pliers and you close that hook back up. Like that. And looky there. Earring. Now these earring hooks, I don't know why, they make them so like they would go into your brain. And they never do do right for me. So I always bend them some more. Either with my fingers. These are really, really thin. So let's see how that works. Stick it in your ear. Let me see. You have to have a mirror. Oh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now that makes me happy. It makes me happy that I have earrings to match this blouse. <laughs> I've got to get downstairs and check on Mother, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this one earring here. I love to make jewelry, you guys. I can't wait to make this thing for Philly that I found a pattern of this morning. She's going to be so surprised. All righty. Well, I didn't get that one quite close enough, so I'm going to try to get a little closer. Close your eyes. There we go. You got to do the closing eyes or it can fly across the room. If somebody else was in the room, I'd have them move away from my table. And I'm just tightening that little wrap and it's not wanting to cooperate. And now I'm going to take this ear wire and open it. Goodness. I hope when I go to the eye doctor, I don't have to get stronger contacts. My goodness, how big do they go up anyway? <laughs> I've already got a 4.75 and a 2.75. Well, they go up to 100.75. All right, now that one doesn't hang good. But it's good enough. Ah, it's good enough. Oh, good enough for the guys I go with. Okay, so that's that. So you want to see mom's... Oh, you know how I let her come up here. She asked me if she could go through my fabric, and she came up and she picked this one fabric. Well, I'm going to finish it today, so I'll give it to her for Mother's Day. So now I've got the lavender sheets, the pink sheets, and if I get this blouse done today, then I can start her another one, and maybe I'll have two blouses. Hold on a second, I'll show you how much I got done. Ta-da! Okay, we have moved. Now remember, this is the fabric that she picked, and so I decided to do yokes up at the top going this way and then make the rest of the box going this way. And so, this is gonna be the sleeves. See, 
part I don't have done. And this is going to be the cuff on the sleeve. See? See? Can you see? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Let me get the other part. Okay. So here's the other part. And of course, Mother's teeny tiny compared to me, but I'm going to try. Now the facing's on and I haven't turned it in. But see, what I want to show you is how I do the stripes this way up here and up here. And then the rest is, um, is, is uh, stripes going that way in the back. So I got to get it done. So I have to go. I have to go make sure Mom has enough coffee. And um, the babysitter gets here in 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back up here and finish Mom's Mother's Day. So y'all have a wonderful day. I'll be back as soon as I can get back. Mm-hmm.